First Master Higaona will explain in detail the important technical points of Geksai Daini Kata. Geksai Daini Kata is almost exactly the same as Geksai Daich. Whereas Geksai Daich consists of closed hand techniques, Geksai Daini introduces open hand techniques in the second half of the Kata. For example, the second chess block, which is executed with a closed fist in Geksai Daichi, becomes an open hand block in Geksai Daini. Whereas the closed fist block is relatively easy to execute with power and focus, the open handed block is more difficult. Basic movement of the closed fist and open handed block is the same. Whereas a blocking technique with the closed fist may be followed by a closed fist counter attack, the blocking technique executed with the open hand may be followed with an open hand strike such as Nukute Zuki. This represents a progression to a higher level technique and is typical of Gojuru strikes which place great emphasis on the use of the open hand in real self-defense situations. Toriguchi, Tiger Mouth Block and Strike. Toriguchi is the second of the open hand techniques to be introduced into this kata. Toriguchi has many applications. It is used to grip, twist and push as well as strike. Master Higaona will now demonstrate the basic interpretation of this move. After blocking the opponent's punch, the low hand strikes of the groin area and grips tight. The other hand attacks the face. The thumb grips under the chin and the fingers pierce the eyes. In the kata, the thumb is held tight, the palm is stretched open. When blocking, focusing the outer edge of the palm. The hands move with a heavy, sticky motion known as mukimi in the Okinawan dialect. In real combat, the fingers become like the teeth of a tiger and the arms and hands like its jaws. The whole technique represents the devastating bite of a ferocious tiger. Moving in Nekoashi Dachi. This footwork, which accompanies the Toriguchi technique, is also different from techniques in Geksai Daichi. Geksai Daini introduces moving in two different directions with this footwork. The first step is 45 degrees to the rear, the second step is straight across to the side. This foot movement is called Suriyashi, or sliding step. The soles of the feet stay in contact with the floor at all times. This stance is called Nekoashi Dachi, which means cat stance. Therefore, the movements must be fast and agile like those of a cat. In the following section, a brief history of the Gegsai Katas will be explained, while Master Higa Onna demonstrates Gegsai Daini Kata at walkthrough pace. Gegsai Daini is the second of the Gegsai Kata. It was created in 1940 by Gojudu founder Master Kyojo Miyagi. He created these katas primarily to popularize karate among the youth of Okinawa and to strengthen the body, mind and spirit of the youngsters. This kata was first taught to high school boys in 1940. At this time it was taught simply as a form of exercise. It was not until 1948 after the Second World War had ended that Master Miyagi began teaching it in depth as part of the Gojudu system in his own dojo. Prior to this time, the first kata that was taught in Gojudu was Sangchin kata. This is physically and mentally a very demanding kata which requires much patience and determination to execute properly. The Geksai katas, however, are easier to perform and contain dynamic techniques which appeal to youngsters more readily. This, Master Miyagi reasoned, would result in a wider interest in karate and encourage the spread of Gojuru throughout Okinawa. The name Geksai means to attack and destroy. It is a reflection of the era in which these katas were created. Master Chojo Miyagi chose this term as it was in the difficult years leading up to Japan's involvement in the Second World War that he developed these kata. Master Kyoshin Miyagi made these katas to be easy to understand and easy to perform. As you can see, the techniques are simple and straightforward. They include basic blocks, punches and kicks to the three areas, Jodan, Judan and Gedan. 
Watch now as Master Higuana performs the kata at three different speeds. Stay! Stay! Sai!
Ich sei bei ihm. Now my lady governor will demonstrate the important no. points to look for when instructing students in Gexai Daini Kata. The rear foot steps straight through, not step through in a circular motion. Transfer the body weight forward onto the front leg. The front foot is turned in slightly. The eyes go to the front as the block is executed. Blocking hand moves across to the other side of the body, deep under the opposite elbow. The fist rubs the chest as it moves across. Move the blocking hands to the sides, deep under the elbows as you block. After the kick, grip with the left hand and pull back hard as you deliver the elbow strike. This pulling action will add power to the strike. はい。
いらっしゃる。はい。はい、今度、トラウチの場合は、この、この、この、この、この、この、この、この、この、この、この、この、この、この、この、この、この、この、この、この、As you push forward, you need to strengthen the palms. Push forward using the muscles of the back. Keep the back upright as you push forwards. As the hands push forward, keep the thumbs tight and pressed firmly against the sides of the palm. Finishing movement over the body to the front, moving from the hips. The body moves as one unit. Do not raise the front foot on the ground. Now Master Higona will demonstrate variations on the closed hand techniques of Gekusai Daichi using the open hand techniques of Gekusai Daini. The techniques you will now see have been developed by Master Higona through his own research and training after years of studying the traditional techniques passed on to Master Higona by his teacher Master Anich Miyagi. In this technique, left hand blocks, Jodai Niki Yuke, right hand strikes Nukite to the eyes. Get on, but I. Block the opponent's attack. Police you strike with the open hand is shown. Now from a different angle. Strike to the groin or solar plexus. If another punch follows, use the forward momentum of this punch to pull the opponent off balance. Sweep the leg and throw.
ついに劇祭第二の日当て裏剣月を応用分解します。ですから、ね、これが今度の日当て裏剣裏剣裏剣キックザグローインエリア。There are a variety of different strikes you can use. また、ヒントを入れて、ハイスクールで筋を置きます。Follow with the elbow and strike open hand to the face. The opponent then moves back and counter punches. Block, then strike nukte to the solar plexus or other vital areas. If the punch is too strong, use a flowing block. Draw the punch forward. At the same time, while covering with the other hand, strike Shitochi to the neck. Tiger mouth block and strike. Block the opponent's punch down with open-handed descending block. As the other punch comes, block hikiyuke. Move in and strike to the clavicle and groin. Alternatively, strike to the eyes or throat. Now Master Higaona will demonstrate another interpretation of Toriguchi. Catch the wrists. Push the right hand forward as you twist, trapping the opponent. Step on the opponent's foot so that he cannot retreat. Then strike to the throat and groin area. If the opponent pushes forward, twist to the side and throw. Master Higa Ona will now demonstrate another variation of Hikiyuke. Using the wrist, block the opponent's punch and catch. 
All the opponent forward and off balance. Then strike Nukite. The natural reaction when being pulled forward is to pull back in the opposite direction. As the opponent pulls back, either push or strike to any available vital area. Excite! Excite! I...
Sai, vai mi. This concludes Goju Kata Geksai Daini. Number 15, the next tape in this series, performed for you by Master Higawana, is Goju Kata Saifa. Thank you for watching.